basics down, it's time to move into the brewing process. Step one, milling. This is where we take beautifully malted barley and gently mill it so that the grains are cracked rather than crushed. By doing it gently, we can get access to the starches, proteins and seedy goodness without destroying the husk in the process. This coarsely milled malt is called grist. We can add other grains at this stage to boost and change the flavour. Step two, mashing. This is where we give our grist a good soak in a nice hot water bath, turning it into mash. Probably a bit bigger than that, but more like a vat. The vat is called the mash tun. We keep stirring the mash and after a while, the special enzymes in our malt mash begins to break down the starches, proteins and glucans, converting them into sugars that will later be fermented by the yeast. Now this is really important. Sugar is what yeast lives on. So we need to make sure that there is enough to keep the yeast metabolising and producing alcohol, carbon dioxide and beer flavour. Luckily, we know that by adjusting the temperature, times and thickness of the mash, we can change the way the enzymes and malts behave. Also, the longer we mash it for, the more the enzymes can break down the starches and carbohydrates. By mashing longer, we can make low carb beer. Step three, lautering. Once we're happy with our mash and we feel that we've gotten the most of the beery goodness out of our grain, we need to filter it. We do this by passing it through the natural filter created by the spent husks and grist that falls to the bottom of the tank. We call this our grain bed. The filtered liquid is called the wort. 